about chow mein and not your ordinary takeout chow mein. I recently made a new friend, his name is Hem. He came to the US from Nepal and he opened the restaurant The Nepali Kitchen in, of all places, Akron, Ohio. You guys, his chow mein was absolutely delicious. Here, let me show you. So we're going to make chow mein. The ingredients that I have right now is the same ingredient that I used to have in Nepal. So it's the same, you know. First get your oil hot, then add the onions, cabbage, veggies, and noodles. Toast the cumin seeds. I'm trying to make this cumin seed into a golden color. Then you kind of just add everything else. Soy sauce, ketchup, cumin, vinegar, mustard seed powder, chili powder, paprika, salt, coriander, green chilies, and MSG, which is optional. And mix it all up. You'll know it's ready when the noodles gives like color, like golden color. The lime is so important, very important, because the sour of this lime is, you know, different than other sour. So you need to have a lime. I cannot wait to eat this. Let's eat. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is so amazing. This is really not what I think of when I think of chow mein. It's not nearly as greasy. There are a lot more spices and like the flavor profile is way more complex. So this is chow mein Nepali style, right? Yeah, it's totally Nepali. It's a happy day. Happy, happy day. <laughs> happy day, guys. <laughs> Keep it quirky. Keep it quirky. <laughs> Keep it quirky. Keep it quirky. Keep it quirky, guys. You heard it here. So my name's Katie. You told me that that means something in your language. Yeah, Katie is girl, you know. Kit. So I, my name is Katie and I'm a Katie. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Keta. And you're Keta. Yeah. Keta Katie. Keta Katie. Yeah. I love it. <laughs>